I think it's hard to reflect on it, then like to put it into words. Then I come here, then like almost eight years ago, then like not really knowing what to expect. And I leave with loads of memories, a wife and then uh, two kids. Um, it's been an amazing time. I've loved every minute of it. Um, yeah, I can't really put it into words. I joined from Bristol City, not really knowing what to expect. I come down as somebody that not many Leeds fans have heard of. Uh, I come here when the club weren't going through a very good spell, so I didn't really hold much ambitions or, or I didn't really know what to expect or then like where the club could go. Then like obviously I knew what the size of the club was and I was eager to get it back to where it was, but then like we knew that it then like it was a long time since they played Premier League and then like it was going to be hard and so I come up here not really knowing what to expect and then you know, like just to play games and try and do something special. When I first come the stadium was almost half full. Now ailing. There's been a few bad years before that, speaking to the boys that were here before. There was a few bad years and I come up here and like I got lucky that I signed at a time when the club was kind of getting on a stable foot. Um, and we started really well and then like the crowd started to flock in and buy around Christmas time. Then like it was then, like fully packed down the road and I've been lucky that I've had that for the last seven years. And it kind of went on from there. I can't tell you how much the night him and his coaching staff has done for me and the night so many other players here. They come in at a time when the night we just had a bad back end of the season, finishing 12th or 13th, I think it was, and the boys not really knowing what to expect. And he turned up and he changed everything. He changed our lives. He changed the way we see football. He changed the way we act outside of football. Just changed everything in our lives. And I don't think he knows how much he's done for us. And He's a special, special man and he's done special, special things for our, me and this club uh, and I'll always be grateful for him. Oh, Leeds have got the equaliser through Luke Ayling's head! I still don't know how we went from where we was finishing 12th to playing the football that we did, but that's just the special talents that he brought in the night to this club. He, uh, the night he filled us all with so much confidence to go out onto the pitch every single game and just go up against our player and just try your best to try and beat your player that you're playing against and then like I think we did that on many occasions under him and it was just an enjoyable, enjoyable time to be here playing under Marcelo. That year was up and down, it was a crazy year, um, then like, we started so well, the Covid come along and was at home, not sure if the season was going to be finished, if, then, like, if we was going to get promoted, if, then, like, if we was, then, like, the season was going to be null and void. Working hard, then look like was getting sent texts every day, making sure we was doing our work, and yeah, just an amazing season. Then like obviously there was some special moments in that season for me personally as well. Then like the goal against Huddersfield and the game against Birmingham was also a highlight. Ailing's going to go for goal. Ailing has found the back of the goal. What a strike that is! Just the whole season just knitted together, and it was a special, special occasion. One that I look back with with a bit. With a bit of sadness as well, then like knowing that we got the club promoted and we wasn't able to enjoy it to the fullest with the fans, I think that's the one bit that I take away from here and not being able to achieve that with the club, with the fans inside Ellen Road, the, the outside uh, bus tour, or then like, like whatever else we had planned. Um, I think that's one thing that will always be hard to get over that we never had the chance to do that. But still, the night was still an amazing, the night amazing year to get us promoted and back to the Premier League. And there's an overlapping run from Ailing, and Ailing gets the ball, and there are men in the box, and it comes for Pablo Hernandez, and Pablo Hernandez scores a goal for Leeds United. Oh! Yeah, Pablo, the magic man. Then, like, I've been lucky enough to play with some some great players here, but I think he's he's right at the top of it. Then it was a game where. Then it was so hot that day. Uh, pitch was dry as anything. It was it was a real tough game, and then like, I just got the ball and went on a run. Uh, kept going. Then I like, got the ball back from Helder and cut it back. And then like I know that then like, if I give the magic man that much time, and 
than like the box that he will score and yeah then I think that moment still gives me goosebumps the most because I feel like that's when we knew that something special was going to happen I think everybody and like we come back that night and we was just all absolutely knackered from the game and uh but just so happy that we got the win and yeah then like what a moment to share that moment with Pablo as well um then like the boys it was then like an amazing day that goal is something that I think most fans will that picture after I scored and then like the whole occasion and what it meant really um, that was the last game before the world got shut down and to sit on that goal for three months then like I sat at home watching it over and over again and it's a special goal and a special time yeah but it brings a smile to my face I can't really put it into words celebrations it would then like it would have to be the Huddersfield one he's even got the ponytail out then I can't take credit for it because it was Barry Douglas and a physio here called Billy. Then I scored against Hull and a few days before they were like, then if you score, do this celebration. And then that they said for Huddersfield, then why don't you do that one? And I think it's something that all the fans will know me by and that's the one I get asked about the most. So um, yeah, I think I have to go with the Huddersfield goal. Leaving now, I think I can look back at that and see what an amazing then that achievement that was. To be part of that team and to be such a big part of that team was was something special, something that I'm, that I'm really proud of. And I've made friends for life in that team, people I speak to all the time, and especially the like Coops and Stu, who's been with me, they're like here with me, they're like every step of the way, they're like I joined and like they were here. And they're like to achieve that with a group of lads that never really expected to play Premier League, held ambitions, but never thought I'd get there. And uh, yeah, just to share it with them people is special. Like I mentioned before, with Coops and Stu, they're like they're definitely people that I'll be friends with for life and Patrick who's spent most of his time here with me as well and many more I still speak to all the boys that then like we got promoted with and you don't share moments with then like the moments that we've shared and not speak to them people again so um, yeah that's then I've certainly made friends for life hopefully in years to come I can come back and the fans will still sing my name and then you know, like we can um, party together then that like, once I retired but um, yeah, then I'd uh, like to come to such a big club and to even maybe to be mentioned like that is uh, like something special and like something I'm proud of. Leeds now is my home. My family is very happy here. And like I was very lucky that my two kids were born in Yorkshire. So um, yes, home is here now. I think we'll live here then like forever. Um, and that's because the people here. I love bumping into the, like, all the fans and they're always so nice to me and uh, the, like, they, they are a big reason why I always stay around here. A special relationship, I didn't, like I think I knew from that first game that I played against Birmingham, then I like, put in a few tackles and then like, the cheer went up and I thought that I would fit in well here and, and then like, to go on and to play I don't know how many games it was, 280 odd or something, and then that to captain the team on so many occasions, and then that to walk out, then that at a packed out end of the road, then that hearing marching on together. Um, then that is memories that will stay with me forever. They are a special fan base, and uh, then that I know that they'll back the team all the way this year, and they'll be here no matter what. I come from a working class background and then like, I know what it means for these Leeds fans to come to Ellen Road and then like, how much they love their team and I think all like then like, from that first game then like, I knew that then like, I would fit in well here and then I like, then everything like I've been lucky enough to play well enough where I've managed to stay around for seven and a half years and they're just a special fan base they ever then like absolutely love the club like they give everything for the club. Sometimes it can be hard, sometimes it can be good, but that's what makes the fans so special. So I've loved every single minute of it. The times at Ellen Road, the good, the bad, everything. Then I thank you for them. Then at the bottom of my heart, then you made my time here. Um, then like so special. And uh, then I'll see you all soon.